My name is Elson So. I'm an epilepsy specialist here in the Mayo Clinic, Rochester, Minnesota. What we have published is a study that shows a new technique of detecting the hot spot. That is to say, of course, the abnormality corresponding to the seizure focus is better than our old method that we had developed a number of years ago. Syscom and the new method Statiscom are useful in patients who have seizures that are difficult to control by medications. About 70% of patients or persons with epilepsy will be able to gain seizure control. In fact, uh, nearly half of them could in the long term come off medications. However, about 30% of persons with epilepsy will not be able to experience seizure freedom on a long-term basis. About one-third of that 30 percent, that would be 10 percent of all persons with epilepsy, would have very frequent seizures to the point that their quality of life is being adversely affected. These are persons who deserve to be evaluated for epilepsy surgery. The intention of the evaluation would be to find out if surgery can help in controlling seizures. In many patients with difficult to control seizures, the standard test of MRI, EEG, cannot localize the seizure onset. This is where procedures like the old method of SISCOM and the newer method of STATISCOM can help. It is with these methods that we can help localize the area of seizure onset so we can further confirm that they are the seizure detonators and we can plan surgery uh, with a higher degree of seizure freedom following the surgery. As you can see in this same patient with the same injection, with the same studies, but factoring in the normal variation in a person minute-to-minute minute blood flow or even seconds to seconds, we came up with a much better view of the person's seizure focus. And this person has been seizure-free after temporal lobectomy, that is removal of this part of the brain which we call temporal lobe. With this method, we have found that it is m easier to detect an abnormality with the status com and the syscom. The superiority of the current new method is that it is easier to detect the hot spot with the new method compared to the old method. The ability of at least two blinded reviewers in detecting the abnormality is twice better than with the old method. For example, in this particular patient, you could see that there is an increased blood flow of the hot spot right here. And Compared to the other picture up here with the older method of SISCOM, even if it were to show only the temporal lobe with the hotspot, the accuracy of the hotspot within the temporal lobe is not as good as with the statuscom. The accuracy in localizing within the temporal lobe for the statuscom is three times better than with the previous method of SISCOM. The method of statuscom is used when other methods cannot localize adequate enough the seizure focus for surgery. If syscom or and the new method of statuscom are not available, then uh, the patients may not be surgical candidates. It's with the method of syscom or the newer statuscom that we are able to identify the seizure focus and the patient can proceed uh, to, to become uh, epilepsy surgery candidates.